So as quarantine has gone on further, we've been thinking about the things that we were taking for granted before, the things that we're gonna appreciate coming out of this. And we've just been spending a lot of time, firstly watching back our old vlogs for the memories. It's a good not hobby. gonna lie. So we wanted to basically sit down and go through a few things that like stand out. When we look back at our memories in the Philippines and the travel we've done here, not just like, I mean, some will be like stunning places and like breathtaking views and things like that, but moments where we've just been like wow key moments that we remember and that stick in our minds it's not yeah. this isn't a top 10 places to visit in the philippines video yeah. as we've been in manila for so long in this apartment for so long we just kind of wanted to go back through some of these memories we've had share them with you guys share them with some of the new subscribers yes. we've got because we've had 30,000 new people join this channel since we hit 300k not even long ago in lockdown and yeah. we realized that all our videos of course have been indoors for a long time <laughs> we have traveled before <laughs> if you're new we did used to travel so um yeah so comment below guys if you've got any moments that in watching our videos that stand out for you any vlogs that you particularly enjoyed or ones that were like that's an epic day or anything like that that yeah. you think you could share with us in the comments we're really interested if any of them are like this maybe maybe you've got different ones to us let us know how long you've been watching the channel yes. we're always interested to find out and if you do enjoy this video if you enjoy our vlogs please subscribe we found out youtube can tell us in the analytics thing yeah. that i'm going to put the number here because i can't remember but it's like 50 <laughs> or 60 percent of people yeah. who watch the videos regularly aren't subscribed to the channel so if all those people subscribed that would be insane we're road to a million um <laughs> we're gonna get, gonna get that what is it gold play button gold, really? I don't yeah, know. Something like if that. we get a gold play button i will we will kiss on camera so this is a few things that come to mind when we think of like wow moments here in the philippines some are like travel destinations but some are like small moments where we've like taken a step back and been like Wow, yeah. like that's crazy or anything. So you'll find out what we're talking about now. I've got a little list on my phone that we're just gonna work through and just jo share with Join you guys. us on yeah. this adventure through time and... I guess it is through time. It kind of is. Kind of, well not, yeah actually, because we are gonna transport back to some of these moments we're gonna, with you. Yeah. So something that I always think about, something, one of my fondest memories here is, it's quite generic, it's quite like a big one, but it's literally driving through the mountains. Literally like driving with some music on, mm. going past these little villages, people waving, the clouds are like, we, we literally drive through clouds, I'm not joking. And then suddenly there's this ridiculous view that's revealed and it gets a little bit colder and you stop and get a little drink or like it's just so nice a lot of people think of the philippines as beaches yeah, and especially definitely. people from the uk and maybe the us or something but the first time we drove up north from manila and we started seeing these things it was insane just incredible you can see our, re our original reactions when we look so young and fresh in those old <laughs> vlogs that we were just like in awe and amazed at what the country had to offer in a different way other than the islands and the beaches that you hear about yeah i mean especially for me like going through like the sagada area the banami rice terraces and also there was an incredible drive where we went from sagada to the no to lu and we kind of went the other side of Sagada, so like the further north part, Epic. and there was like this valley, and it was so vast, you, you can't quite comprehend how big it is and how tiny you are inside this valley, and there's waterfalls like in the middle of it, so like you look across the valley and there was a huge waterfall just like It's insane. Fall. It was just like... And you can drive from what? Manila, it's that good. You can you don't have to fly or take boats, so you can just literally drive a couple of hours and you can see all this stuff, really yeah. cool. So the next one is a memory from very early on, the first time we visited the Philippines. It was our first thing actually. The first. It was the first of. thing we did, the first the. activity we ever did. Yeah, like that's quite a big first thing, isn't it? Well, we haven't said what it is yet. No, but I know what it is. <laughs> we saw a whale shark. Now this, you, there's a place you can go and they feed them and they encourage them to come in. It's a bit more touristy and there's ethical reasons why you maybe shouldn't do that. But we went on a very natural, I don't wanna say hunting mission. We went hunting them. Oh God. Like we went to look for them basically, just out on the open water with yeah. a guy in a boat and it was really, really cool. We spent all day trying to look for one. And they say when you book this tour, it's not guaranteed. Because, you have to sign something. Yeah, you have to say something. You're like, don't be too disappointed if you don't see one because it's definitely not guaranteed because we're just out here in the wild. This is where they live. We're not encouraging them. We're not feeding them to try and bring them closer to the forests. And it was like really bad weather, this choppy boat. We'd like, we'd been, they let us go in the water 
as like a um, an activity because they were worried that we weren't going to see when they were like, I think yeah. we've had our lunch, it's not going to happen, have a little swim, sorry. Kind we of were thing. on the way back yeah. and they said, look, we're going to, we, we can kind of see something that might look like one over there. We're going to try one more time, but let's get, it's going to get dark soon. We've, yeah. It's the afternoon, we've got to head back, but we'll give it one more go. So they went over. And suddenly, the I've guy got goosebumps talking started about it. shouting. It was like, go, go, go. <laughs> We'd all taken our flippers off. We were like chilling in <laughs> our towels and stuff. We weren't prepared for it because everyone had just given up hope on the tour oh with my us. God. And he shouted, go. We just, I put my flippers on. I we're fell falling. like <laughs> off the side of the boat, fell in. I had the GoPro. I was like, yeah. I was like you're like, Lucy, go, get the GoPro. I just fell go on ahead. It. I fell on it. You can see in the footage, like I nearly fell on it. Nearly. And we saw it. We I literally opened our eyes and there's this incredible creature. That moment is like one of the best moments of my entire life, if not the best. Like opening my eyes in the water, kind of scared because it's like deep open water. It's like dark blue. It's not like beautiful like turquoise water in the shallows. Oh, no, it's like deep like water. Open water. Is and crazy. there's a freaking shark at my feet, like swim so big. And I have these slippers on and I'm like swimming like so fast trying to get a like a shot on the GoPro. <laughs> and and I just remember seeing it like something from a film just slowly like go back into the deep Majestic. and it just kept going and then you just lost sight of it because it's so deep and it was like how did that just happen and and the fact that I think the fact that we nearly didn't see one and then we lost hope Maybe and then we better. did it was Maybe like <laughs> it's so cool the next one isn't really travel related but it was like a crazy experience for us we, personally yeah we've been traveling the Philippines with Mike and Nelly from making it happen vlog for the whole of January 2019 and Everything was kind of going crazy. The views were a bit mad. We were getting recognized quite a lot and everyone was like, please do a Manila meetup. So yeah. we put this thing on our stories and across the vlogs uh, to meet in a Yala Triangle Gardens. And literally they were, they had to sort our luggage out in we the had, hotel. We had no so George idea. and I went ahead. We had no idea how many people would turn up. We yeah. just put it like a few days before we put it in the vlog. We put yeah. it on Instagram. We knew there were a lot of people at that time. And Mike and Ellie were like, oh, you go ahead. We'll meet you there in a sec. We're going to sort this thing out at the hotel. We were like, thank you. We'll, we'll go and like make sure we're there when we're meant to be there kind of thing. <laughs> and literally hundreds of people were there. A lot. And like so many that security came and they were like, what are you doing? You can't have like a mass gathering we here. We got moved on. We had people queuing up to take photos with us. It was a surreal, that never so happened to surreal. us before. We'd have people recognize us here and there from YouTube, but that was the moment we were like, whoa, okay, like we're reaching a lot of people here with these videos. People yeah. are really enjoying the content we're making. Such a nice feeling to meet people in real life. Because when you make and edit and put together and film videos, yeah. you do it for yourself. But when your audience grows, you're also kind of doing it for an audience as well, for people to enjoy it and watch it. So to meet those people in real life is really, really cool. We've obviously got more subscribers now, but that was the moment where we were like, whoa. This is a thing, like. This is real. So It was so surreal. And then we left this meetup. Our smiles didn't leave our faces. Like my cheeks hurt we so from all happy. the selfies. Yeah. And it was like, Unbelievable. Another big moment for us was when we first saw a sunset in Boracay. It was our first trip there. If you've been, or if you haven't been, if you've seen the vlogs maybe, the beach is huge there. It's one long stretch and the sunset is right on yeah. the beach. It's insane. The whole sky went orange. It's Lucy and I so looked at each other like, wow, we have not seen anything you, like this If before. I literally was looking at George watching it, I could basically see the colour of the sunset in his face because yeah. it just lights your skin up. The vlog lighting was insane. So nice. And this was like two weeks after it reopened. So it was kind of like a moment in history. It felt really significant that we were there. The flight nearly got cancelled because there was a typhoon in Bahol and we that. very nearly missed the flight. We had to rearrange it. We then had a flight out of Cebu to another country or out of Manila to another country, I think. So we were like, we had this tiny window to visit Baraka in this time and somehow it happened, we made it work and it just felt really like amazing that we were there seeing really, that. It was our first time there, it's a special place, yeah. really, really cool. If you get the chance to go, 100% recommend it, just for the sunset. Something else, um, I love swimming, I love snorkeling, I love the sea, we both do, we love the ocean, we love boat trips, anything like that, island hopping. One thing that really stands out is when we went to Mobile, actually earlier this year. Recently, yeah, and one of our did, last trips before quarantine. Yeah, and we did the sardine run, so we didn't actually have to take like a boat out anywhere. It's not like one where you've got to travel some really far. You literally just, we just parked up the car, walked down to the beach and got in the water, swam a so little nice. bit, and then we saw this incredible like shoals of fish, all these sardines. So many. And, I've like, never seen that many it's in, in one place in one go. So really, cool. really cool. And all like the patterns they make in the water. We got some great photos and great shots of the vlog and stuff. So. Something that definitely sticks in your mind. Yeah. Okay, another location based one. The first time we went to Palawan, we went to El Nido and the island hopping tours you can do there kind of blew us away, kind of set us back a little bit. Yeah. We were like, 
wow, this is next level beautiful, the scenery, the waters. We were fully like tourists at that time booking tours and there were a lot of people. There's a lot of people in yeah. loads of boats, life vests, whatever, but we were kind of used to that. We've been traveling We've a little while. We've just been to Thailand. Was like, I guess we did Thailand, a few other places, and then the Philippines. Yeah, so we were used to the huge yeah. number of tourists. There was actually less in the Philippines yeah. than, say, Thailand. So we were like, okay, this is quieter. Since then, we've been to way quieter places anyway, but... It still first... doesn't matter, does it? No, like, not the at all. Beauty, the first see. time we saw those islands, the clearest water you've ever seen in your life. There's a reason that the Philippines from the outside world is kind of known for that because it's just so amazing. It's just so beautiful and stunning. And that, even back then, before we knew we'd like have a base here or spend way more time in the Philippines, we were like, wow, this is stunning. This is like next level. This place is special. We want to vlog this. We want to film this. We want to tell other people about this. Yeah. Well, this is a quite, again, quite a specific moment of a trip. We basically hired a scooter from our friend, Alan, in Bahol. Alan. Hello, if you're watching. Legend. <laughs> and um, we drove into like, what was it called? The place? Sea of Clouds? Yeah, but where is it? Da Danau? Danau? No. Something like that. Danau? Yeah, North Bahol. Danau, maybe. Really yeah. cool. And we literally drove for like four or five hours. We had numb bums, big time, on this little scooter. Actually, it was quite right. a nice big scooter. It was a nice scooter, but still, six or seven hours on a scooter. Yeah. If you've done it, you'll know what I mean. Yeah. And we were going past all these school kids. Everyone had come out of school. And there's like, if you've been like through the provinces or the island, if you're like from this kind of area or you've traveled there, you'll know what I mean. The kids come out of school and they kind of walk along the side of the road back to where they live. And literally, same time of day every day, you'll see this from all the different schools. There's just loads of school kids walking around. Every single group that we went past were like waving, they were shouting, shouting. we were beeping. We were, it was so heartwarming. And it, and and it, it went so on for amazing. like over 30 minutes. Yeah. We put some of it in the vlog, but genuinely in real life, yeah. it went on like, for Hi. 30 odd minutes as we were driving it through. Was so amazing. And I think we had music playing or something, yeah, a yeah, spe yeah. little speaker. Yeah. And it was just like this surreal. I can't even it describe incredible. it. It was a surreal moment. And we were driving through. People like, were just got, so nice. We were like, yeah. wow, we want to live here. We've got like the chocolate hills in Bahol and you can go to like the, the official part, like the platform, viewing platform thing there. But we were actually driving kind of around the back of the chocolate hills where there were like more natural, I say natural, they're all natural, but like the ones that aren't part of the tourist destination. Yeah. We were like driving and you just see a random like hill, like a little bump, like a, mm -hmm. like something from Teletubby land. And it was like, we're driving right past these hills, like through these things. And there was that guy that we chatted to for ages. Why did we stop? To get a picture we and stopped he came to take over a photo to and us. he just came over and he was chatting. And it was just such a nice day. We stopped at a little bakery and got ice cream. 100% one of my favorite days we've had in the Philippines yeah, me without too. doubt. And it just stands out. The next one is a memory we have from Camagin. We've been here, yes. maybe this was our first time or second time, I can't remember. First. But we stay at a cool place there. If you've watched our vlogs, you know, we always tend to stay in the same place. And it has this amazing view. It's right up in the mountain, amazing view. In the view, you can see this sandbar. Yeah. We were like, can we go there? We have to go there. And throughout the day, you see it changing shape. When the sun's yeah. on it, the tide comes in, it gets smaller, like it's so cool. You have to go really, really early in the morning, or at least that's the recommended thing to do. Of course, we didn't. We got up, we had breakfast, we had coffee, and I then we, we were like, the gym. yeah, we were like, okay, now we're gonna go into the, to the sandbar at midday when yeah. the sun's the hottest. Anyway, we drive down to the, like beachfront where you can get a boat to the sandbar, it starts chucking it down with rain. We just yeah. made it into this cafe, we got coffee, we're like, okay, yeah. we're here, we wanna see this we thing. We can see the literally, it's a little bit of water and then it's there, like you can't swim to it, it's quite far, but it's like a yeah. 10 minute boat ride out. And we were looking around and we were like, there's no blue in the sky, everything's grey, the rain is super heavy, we're not doing this We were today. like, we flew back, I think we were flying back to Manila the next day yeah, or something. This was like so the we last were like, oh, do we wait? Do we just go back? We didn't really want to leave the cafe anyway because it was raining, so we didn't want yeah. to like drive the scooter around in the rain. So thankfully, we then had a little window of opportunity. The rain stopped for a while, the sun cleared, so we we're like, right, go, get on a boat. As soon as we stepped foot on that boat, and I think we caught this on the vlog. Yeah. The rain started again, so all heavy. the clouds came back. So then we were on this boat, on the way to this sandbar, which you couldn't even see. There was no one on the sandbar now, because it was <sighs> raining. Why would anyone go on a sandbar we, when it's raining? We had all our <laughs> camera gear in our bag, which wasn't waterproof at the time, I don't think. We had our drone with us, we had all our gear, and we were on the way to this sandbar, we were like, oh wow. And, the, and when you get there, they drop you off and go, like, so yeah. that you get this like, like nice experience on your own, like it's very quiet, there's not loads of boats. They drop you off and you call them. So we were about to be on this island, like, on our in own, the rain. in the rain, with a GoPro. So yeah. we were like, okay, look, we're here, we're vlogging. Let's make, let's make a video anyway. Let, we've got the GoPro. This can be like 
We, we always say when we travel, we don't try and force situations. Yeah, true. If we go there and it's raining, that's what happened that day. That's what we're going to vlog. That's what we're going to capture. Exactly. That, that it is what it is. We don't need to make everything look perfect, perfect and or, ideal. No, we're just real. It's just real, real life. life. We try and vlog our real life. Yeah. So we're like, okay, this is what it's going to be. We're not going to have the kind of ideal. The shot. The shot. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then literally, I can't describe what happened in this moment. Maybe this should, should have been our number one moment. Yeah. We looked at each other like, what the hell? We got off the boat, we stepped, literally. I'm not even joking, we stepped off the boat, the rain stopped, we were the only people there. It was it, like someone did a switch. It's quite a tourist thing because in the morning you can see all these boats come to it. We were the only people there because it had been raining all day. We stepped on the island, the rain stopped, the clouds started clearing, it was a clear blue sky and we realised we had it to ourselves in the most perfect conditions ever. It was honestly it was unbelievable. We couldn't believe it. We were like, get the drone up, yeah, get yeah, the yeah. camera, get I the Instagram shot. I just took the drone shots. and threw it up <laughs> in the Atlantic. And then when you're on the island, you've got, because it's like, there's like seven or eight volcanoes on Camagon. It's like the most volcanic island, as in the most amount of volcanoes and the smallest amount of land in the world, I think. I think, actually. Correct me if I'm wrong Maybe. in the comments. And when you're on this sandbar, you're surrounded by ocean and you've just got this view of this huge volcano and it's like so surreal. Epic. So if you guys have been watching for a while, you know we love to get around these Philippines festivals. We've done Lanzonas Festival, Sinalog Festival, Dinagyang Festival, the Mango Festival, and we love them. All for different reasons. Sinalog yeah. with the paint, it's just crazy and insane. Uh, Dinagyang with the tribal dances and you hear the drum beat and it like goes in your heart and it's like wow. It's amazing. It really feels like for each location that these festivals are in, the yeah. whole town comes together. When you're there, when you fly in for it, because we often like fly to Iloilo just for the festival or whatever location, but you go, often they'll have stuff at the airport. It really feels like, I can't describe it. It feels like a, a moment where everyone comes together just for this one thing. Like community. It doesn't feel like one event you go to on one day. No. Often they last like a week and there's all different things going on. It's a really nice feeling because you really get to dive into the culture of yeah. that area and the history of it and the people, the everything about it, you just so kind cool. of experience full on firsthand. It's really, really nice. A quick one, which was just a small moment, very small thing, but it was kind of special. We were on a road trip and we decided that the area looked nice. So we wanted to get some drone shots. We put the drone in the air. Suddenly, all these kids kind of spot the drone. They're quite so far nice. away. So we're like, oh, let's go and film them. They're like waving. They're waving at it. And then the drone's like going and they're running with the drone and we get this incredible shot. Like it looks like it's set up. Like it literally yeah. looks like we've asked them to run, but it was we so perfect. It was so perfect. genuine and natural, yeah. really, really nice. They then come over to the car. We're about to leave. We're putting the drone away and stuff. And Lucy shows them the footage on the drone and they were just fixated on this screen. Yeah, because it's their home. They had never seen where they live from above. Yeah, they were so fixated on it. And it was just nice for us to be able to share that with them because yeah. they appreciated it. The next one is the Tanners. That's it. Literally, oh my God. It was one of the most requested locations that we visit from people commenting on our videos. I think it's the north, it's the most northern part of the Philippines. It's, it's almost, closer to Taiwan than the Philippines, yeah. the rest of the island. And it did not disappoint. Like when you take the flight over there, sometimes the flight can't land. We saw a flight come in, try a few times to land and it couldn't. The people on the flight had to go back to Manila, try again another day. We were lucky, we got there. We did get stranded there for a few days. Yeah, didn't matter. that happened on the way back for us. That was quite, maybe if, you, if you're interested, go back and watch those vlogs if you haven't, because it's like the story of how we had to find new accommodation and yeah. we didn't know when we could get back. It's quite cool to vlog that and quite fun to watch that back. But um, it was a really, really good experience. The place did not disappoint. It's stunning. They've got it's, zero crime there. It's magic, like I swear. It's magical, like uh, nothing It looks like, like Jurassic that Park. It's, it's just absolutely beautiful. We had a scooter and we were just going round with our mouths like this. Yeah, then like we, we started- so many flies. We oh, were about to say that. Oh, you joke, <laughs> man, oh. Seriously though, like, I can't tell you how we felt, like every day. We were staying in this tiny little accommodation, so every day Home we were state. like- yeah, it was, but there was like there were no windows, so it was super dark. And every day we just wanted to get up early and go and explore. Mm. There's an honesty store there, which is really cool. It's a good island for exploring. It yeah. is. You just get a scooter or a bike or something and just just drive and drive and drive. We'd it's love to really go nice again and do the other islands. I think there's two more yeah. that we can yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's definitely in the plans for the future when we can travel again. So we're going to do a quick fire three locations thing because the next three are all locations that you should definitely visit if you're interested. If you've never been to the Philippines before, yeah. or if you live in the Philippines and you haven't travelled much. Calaguas Island, absolutely insane. We've got friends who we'll talk about later in the video who took us there. Beautiful, 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 stunning, like Boracay, but no people. Unbelievable. This is not a quick fire, George. Okay, go. <laughs> uh, Pinatubo, wow, didn't hit my phone. Pinatubo is like, 
um, we did a four by four day there and it's like a hike up this volcano and this four by four like adventure through these lakes on the way really, up. Really, really cool. Really amazing. It looks like a different planet. It looks yeah. like Mars or something. They've got these like Toblerone mountains. Yeah. The whole plane is just crazy. Take a four by four. Definitely do that if you can. One of the best days I've ever had. And the third one is the Mayon volcano in Bicol. Absolutely unbelievable to see it, especially if the clouds clear and you get a clear shot. You can do an ATV ride up to like the foot of it. There's a helipad. It's just insane. You look at it, it's in front of you. So amazing. It's the perfect shape, it's the perfect cone, but a really, really cool experience. Definitely do that if you can. I'm so excited talking about this, George. I'm excited talking about this. I love it. I want to travel again now. I know. One um... day, one day. <laughs> Give it a few years. <laughs> so the one we want to finish with is about some people we met. I think someone watched our videos and they got in touch with us. Her name was Abby. And then since then we've met like a load of her friends and family and they've become like the closest thing we have to family in the Philippines, I would say, for sure. Definitely. We've stayed with them a number of times, we've gone to see them, we've vlogged with them, we've hung out with them, and it's been such a nice thing for us to have people in this country who feel like more than just friends or more than just acquaintances. We've literally watched their kids grow up like over the past like year or so. We went to their gender reveal party, like it yeah. feels so special. Jun and Sarah, if you're watching, thanks for all your kindness towards yes. us and all your hospitality. We can't wait to come and see you guys again if you are watching this. I think that's going to end off this video. So I've really enjoyed talking through this today. I think it's a long it's, one, but I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm really pleased that this is documented. Yeah. So we've got like these moments to look back on. Um, if you're watching, think you've come to the Philippines. If we haven't convinced you, then I don't know what will because literally... You have to do it. You have to do it if you can, when we can all travel again. So hope you enjoyed us taking you on this little traveling experience, I guess, in quarantine. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification button for every time we upload, and we'll see you in the next. Why are you doing that? Because you're doing it, you're I'm like, bell that. notification button. And we'll see you in the next. Dangerous.